Yo, what is going on everybody? So in today's video, I'm about to show y'all how you go fishing without even spending a penny. And before we go into that, we have a 24 hour survival fishing challenge coming. Not quite sure when I'm gonna get to filming that, but it should be, let's just say in the next month. But anyways, y'all. So today I'm gonna show y'all how you can go fishing without spending anything in gas. And all you need in your car is just 20 miles of gas to do this. Without spending any money on bait, all you need is a couple lures and you're good. So today we found this pond, nine minutes, 3.3 miles away. Obviously won't need to spend any money on gas. I got a bag full of tackle, so I don't need to spend any money on lures. So today we're gonna crack that code and show y'all that you could go fishing and have fun without spending a single penny. All right, y'all, so I know there is a lot of you out there who think, oh, <clears throat> I need to drop all this money to get fishing. I need to drop entrance fees. I need to spend money on gas and I need to buy bait and hooks. Well, you're wrong. You already have bait and hooks. That cost is covered. Thing number two, you don't need to get gas every time you go fishing. You could just find a spot that's close to you. Yeah, it may not be a state park. Yeah, it may not even be a public park. But you can go to these, uh, most states will have these neighborhood ponds. And there is no money involved in going to neighborhood ponds. It's all free. So y'all, there is no excuse to not get out there. Money is not a concern. You don't need money to go do this stuff. So this thought, I would, I really want to motivate y'all to get out here. No matter if you have a million dollars in your bank account or if you have none. Y'all can, oh, it's Teasley. Y'all can always get out there and fish, so. So I'll tell y'all that. Let's keep fishing. Uh, heck yeah, y'all. All right, y'all. We are at our pond for the day. We still have not even spent a penny. And that's how today's gonna be. We're not gonna spend a penny. I could have done this with 20 miles of gas in my tank. So can you guys. And um, I got some lures and stuff in my bag that we're gonna throw today. Again, we're not spending any money. For her catfish bait, she brought out some some ham that we already had at home so there was no money spent there so hell yeah y'all let's get out here and do this free fishing day no damn it y'all it's right there too come here y'all it is right freaking there i am the king of snags no not yes we got it out y'all Hell yeah. Oh yeah. There's what I caught. Um not exactly sure on how we're gonna get this out, but Alright, this is gonna take the pliers. Let's go grab those. Alright y'all, well thanks to the good old knife right here. We got that out. Let's get casting again. All right, y'all, there's this little teeny tiny pond right here. Um, not sure if there's any fish in it, but we're definitely about to cast in it and try to find out. Heck yeah. All right, don't ever buy this brand of spinners. They do not work properly. Um, I will tell you all the brand in a little bit, but it's not that good. This pond sucks. I don't know. Probably some more trash that some idiots left on the bottom. Y'all, why do y'all do this crap? Or I'm not saying my viewers do this, but why do people do this? Guys, leave spots looking better than when you got there because does this need to be in the bottom of a freaking pond that potentially has life in it? No, it doesn't. How would you like if your house look like that. We're gonna collect that. And we are gonna put this over here with my girlfriend and we are gonna throw this away cause this is unacceptable. Guys, there is no need to litter, come on. Not saying my viewers do this like I said, but I know a lot of people do and if you see them littering, say something to them. All right, y'all, this pond's a piece of junk. Um, there's trash everywhere. Also, the bottom is just 
loaded with a bunch of gunk on it and stuff like that. Also, um, there's it's not even two feet deep. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this other pond that's about a mile and a half away. Still not gonna drop a dime. Let's go do it. Something y'all will experience when you're coming to new spots is some of them aren't gonna be good. Some of them are gonna be really bad like this one. Some of them are gonna be really frustrating. But just know eventually, you're gonna pull up to that spot. There's gonna be five pounders on the shore and you're gonna hook them. So that is what's, that's what this is all about to me, finding all these new spots and stuff. So let's get all into the next pond. New one, by the way, never been to. Oh, welcome back, everybody. We are at the new pond right there. We got some people here, as you can see, right behind me there, and then a couple over there, but nobody is fishing. So that's a good sign. I have the pond to myself as far as fishing goes. So let's get them rods out and let's start casting. Hell yeah. Hello, how are you? Um, I've never been here before. Is there, there's fish in here, right? Yeah, that's what I've been told, and I've seen a couple people get some out, so. You know what kind of fish or no? Well, when Eureka? Yeah. Well, hopefully there's some bass that are willing to eat today. All right, y'all. Another waste of a fishing spot here. This pond is just as awful as the other one. It's getting very, very hard to find new spots now because now the ones we're going to are like, it's just getting difficult. There's no fish in here. Um, well, there might be fish, but I talked to a couple people. They said there are not that many in here. So the only way there's fish in here is because people have brought them in here from other places. It's not that good. So we're going to go to a new spot again. Heck yeah. All right, y'all. We've made it to the next spot talk about pressured spots this one is on the top of that list there's a bunch of people out here already right now and it's a freezing day i can't even imagine on a nice day how many people would be fishing this spot so i'm gonna have to go very finesse and think of things that all these other fishermen would not be throwing and make it look natural so we have a lot to figure out here but we got a lot of plastics in my bag we're gonna sort through them all also going to throw around a little rooster tail and see if that's a potential for something that might work. So let's get down there and do that. Y'all, this is some struggling fishing. I don't know if it's, it's that it's the first day of the cold front or second day of the cold front, I should say, or what it is. I don't know. Maybe the wind got them all stirred up yesterday. Did get bit, but it definitely was a trout. Uh, so, oh, we're out of here. There's another. Let's go. <laughs> Y'all. That is the absolute misery of spots right there. We were fishing there for about 20 minutes. Three different anglers showed up. And in total, since we've been there, there's about, including us two, eight anglers. Eight. That is insane. And seven out of the eight are bass fishing. So, heck no y'all that is just terrible that is horrible statistics so well y'all uh i was editing the video and realized i forgot to film an outro so the reason today's fishing video got cut short was because i simply could not find another pond and i did not have the time to drive another 20 30 minutes to find a new one so that's why today's video got cut short. This will never happen again, though, because from now on, we're going to fish areas that have multiple new ponds that we've never fished around it. It's just in my general area, there was there was nothing left to fish, really. Um, and I like I said, I couldn't go drive 30, 40 minutes to a new spot. But tomorrow we will. I am so sorry again, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. We did not spend a dime as that was the theme. Anyways. Please don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace out.